you come with the, come up with the word fashionpreneur? Yeah, just I, I can't even remember how it happened because mm -hmm. remember at the beginning I was doing workshops that were mainly around uh, finding calling, finding purpose. Did not go well. I started doing saying passion and things picked up. Next thing I know is uh, I started uh, doing uh, all these talks and I got known for delivering passion talks. And somebody, a friend of a friend of a friend on a Saturday evening in Dubai introduces me at this guy who's doing passion work. And, and a guy goes, oh God, man, I gotta go to work tomorrow. I need some of your passion. And I'm like, ah, Sunday, first day of the week in Dubai, passion Sunday is the best way to end the week and start another. Now at the back of that, I started interviewing all these speakers and I interviewed Professor Tony Buzan, the inventor of mind mapping. And we go to an event after that and I left the room and somebody said, Passion. He goes, oh, Passion, I know who you have to talk to. Where is he? Uh, what's his name? I can't remember his name. The Passion guy, the Passion guy. And I got called the Passion guy back then. And I started getting known a bit as the passion guy. However, you know, I didn't call myself the passion guy. And you don't walk up to people and say, hi, I'm the passion guy. So then and you people, said, this is the brand that you should push for. However, this is the thing is what happened is I started coaching some people and I was getting calls from people that wanted to be entrepreneurs. And my question is, why? What do you want? And Oh, I want to be rich. Hmm. And I'm like, hmm. Actually, I don't feel excited to help you. I'm sorry. Mm. And I started realizing that there are a lot of entrepreneurs out there. And I can't deny that they have entrepreneurial spirit. But that's not the kind of an entrepreneur I want to be supporting. What I'm looking for is people who have passion and purpose, that they want to turn their passion and purpose into a business that helps the world and makes them rich along the way. So being rich is not the ultimate goal. Being rich is the byproduct of you serving the world. And I'm like, okay, how can I differentiate people that have the passion that are entrepreneurs? And I'm like, well, they're passionpreneurs. Hmm. This is how the term came up. And I'm like, okay, well, if I'm starting, I'm the first passionpreneur on this list. Hmm.